to see you. I have been learning how to knit. Yeah. Take a look at my new jumper. Ah. Oh, well, it is a little bit big, I suppose, but that doesn't matter, because I need some wool for something we're going to make today. Now, if I just unpick a little tiny bit from here, like this... Perfect! And now that we've got our wool, we can try something! Try making a picture of a tree using wool. That looks great! Right, jumper off. Jacket on! Let's make it! As well as some wool, we'll need some things from the doodle drawer. Some pieces of coloured paper. A glue stick and some paint. Whoa! Now, to make your wool picture, like this one here, take your piece of paper and fold it in half, like this. And then open it out again. Now for the really fun, really messy part. Take a piece of wool and dip it completely in green paint. Yeah, this is really gooey. OK, and now pick up the painty wool and twist and twirl it all over one half of your paper. Like that. And then fold it over again. Here we go. And push down hard like that. And then carefully remove the wool. And it comes there. And now, if we open it up again, there! Very nice, eh? Do the same again with a lighter colour. Hmm, <laughs> looking good. Now do the same again with yellow paint. Hey, what a great pattern. Now I'm going to make it into the tree. But first, I'm going to wipe my hands. Now, take a rectangle of brown paper. And if you haven't got brown paper and you've only got white, you could paint it brown. Fold it in half, like that. And then get some scissors. Now, be careful because scissors are sharp. OK, now cut a curve on the open side. Like that. And then get some glue. And stick it down underneath your woolly print. There! It's a wonderful woolly tree. You can try loads of other ideas using wool. Once you've tried a tree, why not do a woolly monster's mad hair? Use any colour of paint you like. Or even a running tap. Doesn't it look effective? So why don't you try making some amazing woolly pictures? And remember, you can just get some wool by pulling any old jumper apart. <laughs> <gasps> What? 
Oh, I see. You're quite right. Mm. You should never pull a jumper apart unless you've got permission from an adult. Mm. Or permission from a jumper. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mm. Oh, all right. I'd, uh, yeah, I'd love to dance. Uh. <laughs> Great dancing. Thanks. <laughs> Who's that snoring? These are the shapes. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> Let's wake them up. <laughs> Rise and shine, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 take it away. Oh, hey, ah, yeah. How many circles can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight circles. Well done, Circle. It's time to go back on the shelf. <laughs> Those shapes are amazing. Tucky here. Minute make time. Minute make time. It's minute make time. <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. Some straw panpipes. Have a look at what they can do. <gasps> yeah, it's your very own homemade musical instrument. And to make them, you will need, of course, some straws. Mm, tasty. A pair of scissors and a rectangle shaped piece of corrugated cardboard. Now, do you think we can make the straw pan pipes in just a minute? Not a chance. Really? I do. But let's find out. I'm going to have to go very, very quickly. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Get a move on. Let's go. Right, let's get our piece of cardboard and start adding our straws. Now, push the straws into the holes in the corrugated cardboard. Like that. And like this. And like this. Hurry up! I'm going as quick as I can. This is a bit fiddly, but it's worth it in the end. Halfway! Halfway already? Oh, I'm running out of time. Only two straws to go, though. Right, now we turn our pan pipes upside down like that and carefully, with our scissors, cut across the straws, like that, and like that, and like that. I've done it! Only just. Just in time. Now let's test out our pan pipes. <gasps> Great. And if you've got more than a minute, you could make a longer one for a different noise. <gasps> Ooh, 
Ooh, and if you want, you can decorate your straw pan pipes too. Wow, straw pan pipes made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a rectangular piece of corrugated cardboard and some straws. Then push each straw into the holes on the edge of the cardboard. When you've filled up all the holes, take your scissors and cut diagonally upwards like this. Now you're ready to play your straw pan pipes. Try making it in a minute. Hello, Mr Baker. Guess what we're making today? Oh, I don't know. Let's go and see. I'm yellow. I'm green. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to... Frame it! Frame it! Frame it! Now have a look at this. Here's a great idea that's easy to make and it looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You'll need two different coloured pieces of paper, some glue and some scissors. Cut one of the sheets of paper in half. You can do this by folding it and cutting down the middle carefully. Put one half to one side and with the other half cut out a large triangle. Lay these pieces onto one side of the coloured paper. This is the clever bit. Flip the triangle over like this. Wow, that looks great! Now, if you want to make it look even better, you could cut a smaller triangle shape out of the big triangle. And do the same thing again. Flip it over like this. Then, glue it all into place. Doesn't that look fantastic? And it's so easy to do. You could try it with other shapes. Here's the same idea using rectangles and squares. What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! Very impressive. Talking of which... I've got something to show you. This is my magic pencil. And it can draw pictures all on its own. Don't believe me? Watch this. Oh, magic pencil, do your best. Can you guess what my magic pencil is drawing? What could it be? It's a footballer. Well done, Magic Pencil. I could do with your help now. It did... Oh. No. Oh, it's a bit of a disaster here. I wanted to paint a picture, but I can't find any of my paintbrushes. I was trying to use this little cotton bud, but it's just too small. It would be fine if it was a bit bigger. Hmm. hmm. 
I could paint big pictures with a big cotton bud. I could practice my canoeing. I could even use it to get fit and strong. <laughs> but they're not really big. They're small and not much use to me at all. Hmm, apart from... Wait for it, wait for it. They've given me an idea. What about this? Let's create a crazy cotton bud creature. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers! Some paint. Some wool. Some cotton buds. Oh, and we'll also need some air drying clay, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a minute. I've got it! Now this is our air drying clay and it makes the bodies of our crazy cotton bud creatures like this. Now take a long piece of wool and tie it into a loop. Now this is a bit fiddly so you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. There! Now get your lump of clay and roll it into a ball around your wool. There. Now take some scissors and a cotton bud and very carefully snip one of the ends off. Like that. There. Now let's push this into the clay. There. Let's do another one. There we go. And push this in as well. There's two. Now keep going until your clay is covered in cotton buds and then leave it to dry. When it's dry, your creature needs eyes. Now, for this, we roll two small balls of air drying clay, like that. And then with a pencil, or the end of one of our cut-off cotton buds, we make two dots. One there, and one there, like that. Those are the dots for the eyes, and then we stick them on. There's one, and there's two. Now we're ready to paint. There, he's all painted. And look, you can even paint white for the eyes and put a little black dot in the middle. Now you can hang him up using your loop of wool like this. Great! Oh, look, you look funny. You look pretty funny yourself. Oh, charming. You can make all sorts of different colours and types of creature. How about a purple one with green spots? Or a rainbow coloured one? Or a glittery one? Try making crazy creatures out of small cotton buds. Much better than big cotton buds. Oh! oh. Ow! <laughs> time to go! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash CBeebies for more ideas.